Hello, welcome to the React Quickly screencasts. In this video, I'll walk you through the menu project. In this project, we will not be using JSX, it's just a native JavaScript implementation of the React component. So let's start with index.html. And I'm using Plunker, which is a great tool for this type of demos and prototyping because on the right side you can see the results right away and you can refresh them. So let's start with index.html file. I have two script includes. I'm using Cloudflare CDN and I'm using React and React DOM version 0.14.3. You don't worry about these two arguments, this is just something that uh, Plunker is using. And then in the body I have the div container with ID menu. This is the actual div where I would render my uh, React components. And then the actual application is it, it's in a script.js. Again, it's just a native JavaScript. Let's go there. And uh, first of all, I would like to start with the actual rendering, which is at the bottom of the file. So you can see I'm using react dom.render method, which takes two arguments. The first argument is the actual element, which uses the instance of menu class or a component. And the second argument to the create element is attributes. In this case, it's null or empty. And then the second argument to the render from the React DOM, it's actual DOM node, which I'm getting by using the ID, get element by ID, parenthesis, quotes, menu. So far so good, but how actually menu works? This is the class. I'm using react.create class. And in React class, uh, in React classes, the only mandatory method that you need to implement is the render function. And it must be an expression, not just a function. The difference between expressions and the functions is that expression must have the return statement. So you can see my return statement is here and I'm returning uh, an element, a div. I'm using create element, then I'm using div. So You've already seen that using create element, you can create a custom element like menu, but you can also create a regular HTML elements like div, and then later we will create an anchor tag and a break. So this, uh, the properties for the div are also empty, but then we have third argument, which is an array. So I'm using menus.map to iterate over an array of menu items, which I have right here. And uh, map returns another array. Another array will have divs as an element. And uh, each div will have the key, which is an index. It will start with zero, then one, two, three, etc. because indexes are, indexes of arrays are zero based in JavaScript. And then the third argument and the fourth and etc. So every argument after the second, they become children of this div. So in this case, I will have the link element as a children, as a child of div. And then I'll have many divs because I'm iterating over an array of menus. That will create me this structure. And then if we look, uh, if we look at the link, which is another component, I'm getting this prop label. Prop, it's uh, just an uh, alias for properties, or they become attributes of HTML tags and HTML elements. So I'm using this prop label, this.props.label, and converting it to a URL slug. So it must be a lowercase, I'm trimming all the white spaces and I'm replacing in spaces inside, trimming white spaces on the outside and replacing the white space inside with dashes. So I will get nice URLs. So if you, if you look in the bottom left corner, it says contact dash us versus contact us. And then 
I'm returning again. This is an expression. I'm returning uh, another div. So the key here is that you must return only one element, always one element. So if I, for example, I have two elements here, one is an anchor tag and another is break. So I must wrap it in a div. I cannot return two elements, it must be just one element. And then in an anchor tag, I'm using a property URL and uh, the name for that is, um, I'm using property href and the value is the URL. And that will become an attribute of this link on this anchor tag. And then the third argument is a child, but because it's a text, it's not an element, it will become just an inner uh, text or inner HTML of that element of that anchor tag. And then I have the break as a fourth argument. So you can have a limited number of arguments to create element and um, each subsequent element will become a child as well of your element. So this is how we render this menu. One thing here is that if you want to have more than one menus, we have the menus itself hard-coded inside of this component. So how we can uh, refactor this code to make our menu component more usable. We can abstract this and uh, move it outside. By moving it outside, we also need to pass it to our component as a prop. So we're passing it. It will be available in this variable, in this object. And now, in order to use it, all we need to do is just define a new variable. Let me refresh it. Okay, it's working. So visually, nothing has changed. On the right side, you can see it's exactly the same result, but now we can use menu with a different array of menus. Maybe you have two or three different menus. And also by changing, uh, maybe providing a style object to the link, you can also modify the look and feel of that or provide a different class name. That's even a better option. So that's it for this example. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.